Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is from plant science, why the life cycle of polysiphonia is called as triphasic haplotiplobiontic life cycle, simplifying the life cycle of polysiphonia within five minutes. Let's move into the detail. Polysiphonia is an algae that belongs to Rhodophysi or it's a red algae. So the first question is why this life cycle is called as triphasic haplotiplobiontic life cycle. So this is a diagrammatic picture of the life cycle. First point, there are three phases in the life cycle of polysiphonia. The first phase, living phase, is a gametophytic haploid phase. This is the first phase, gametophytic haploid phase. Then there are two sporophytic diploid phases. The first one is called as carposporophyte, which is dependent on female gametophyte. And the second one is called as tetrasporophyte, which is the independent diploid phase. So in polysiphonia, there are three phases of life phases of living stages in life cycle. The first phase is a gametophytic haploid phase. Then there are other two diploid phases where the dependent phase is called as carposporophyte and the independent diploid phase is called as tetrasporophyte. That is why the life cycle is called as triphasic. Then the second question it is called as haplodiplobiontic. There is a single haploid phase that is followed by two diploid phase. That is why this is called as haplodiplobiontic. The term that is near to bio is the dominant phase. Here there are two diploid phases against one haploid phase. That is why this is called as haplodiplobiontic life cycle. Now moving into the life cycle. So this plant is a dioecious plant which is having male gametophyte and female gametophyte male plant producing the male gamete and the female plant producing the female gamete male plant forms male gamete as spermatangial clusters and later this forms male gamete called as spermatia whereas female plant produces a structure called as carpogonium which is a female sex organ and it is having a receptive structure called trichogyne at the top and egg is formed inside carpogonium. So the male gamete is received by the trichogyne and it enters through trichogyne and finally reaches egg and fertilizes egg and forms a zygote. This is step 2. In step 3, this zygote germinates to form a diploid carposporophyte on the female plant itself which later forms carpospores. Psychot, this is a deviation from the normal life cycle. Psychot doesn't give rise to a diploid plant altogether. There is an intermediate phase that is dependent on the female gametophyte. You can see this structure. See this carpogonium, this becomes carposporophyte. So let us zoom in this region. So this is the structure. This is a female gametophytic plant. You can see a fruiting body like structure is formed which is called a cystocarp. Inside that structure there is carposporangium. On that diploid carpospores are formed. Zygote is diploid. By mitosis diploid carpospores are formed. On maturity these carpospores are released. So this carpospores that is dependent on female gametophyte on maturity releases carpospores. These carpospores are diploid. That directly give rise to the independent diploid plant which is called as the tetrasporophyte. So this is the independent diploid plant formed by the germination of carpospore. So this is the third phase. Now this tetrasporophyte undergoes meiosis. Step 4, this carpospore germinates forming diploid tetrasporophyte and that forms tetraspores by meiosis. So this tetraspores half becomes the male gametophyte and the half becomes the female gametophyte, thus completing the life cycle. Then one more point, 
polysophonia is showing isomorphic alternation of generation. There is alternation of generation between gametophytic phase and sporophytic phase, which is called as isomorphic, as you can see, all these gametophytic haploid and sporophytic structures, all these structures are morphologically similar. That is why this is called as isomorphic alternation of generation. Hope you are clear with triphasic haplotypla biotic life cycle of polysiphonia. Thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, please share, subscribe and like. You are with biologyexamsfurry.com.